today I'm going to show you the easiest way to create any trading bot. So once you log in on Deriv, come to Deriv bot. Remember, a lot of people are selling you, I don't know, speed bots, bots that are faster. It's all a lie. It's a marketing gimmick. All bots are created from here. All bots that are natively used on Deriv are created from here. And I'm going to show you how to create them. So the likes of Kanye, the speed bot, I don't know who speed bot, they are all created from here. Let me show you. So once you log in, this is where you land. Come to Deriv bot. There used to be a binary bot here, but they have since discontinued that. So go to Deriv bot, and there are two ways Deriv bot offers you to create. So when somebody gives you a bot, you come and upload from here or your Google Drive or wherever you wanted to get it from. But there's a bot builder and there's a quick strategy. Quick strategy is the easiest way to create a bot. So for example, on assets, here you have Forex, you can create even Forex bots, but I want to focus only on continuous indices as 10, 1S, 10, 25, and the likes. So just choose 25, 1S, or 50, 1S, whichever you like, just choose whichever. Trade type, there's rise and fall, rise equals and falls, matches, even odd, under. Just go with rise and fall, because this is just a default normal bot. Choose the purchase condition to be rise, in issue stack, you can put any duration. You can either have ticks, seconds, minutes, hours, days, whichever you like. Choose one tick. Profit. Let's say, for example, you're trading $1. Target 5. Max. Loss. Probably you have a $20 account. Size. This is a martingale. If you put one, it will trade with the same initial stack. If you put two, it will always multiply by two. So put two if you like that and then just click edit and this will lead you here to the what we call now the dairy bot <laughs> and most of the traders what they have done is they come to this side here on utilities they put a text so like tell you uh, this is dollar printer <laughs> and then the next thing they do is click here to save and download and they call it dollar fucking printer and they sell and then they start selling the bot to you so that's how easy it is for you to create a bot and to prove to you that it's running i'm not done any analysis here but this 51s let's just say let's just run and see so it's trading a rise there so you can see it's your internet connection versus so it will multiply by two if you lose and then on and on and on so just like that gentlemen just create your bot like that but now what i wanted to show you is not even those speed boards that's too easy i didn't realize i was trading on my live account but it's okay let me just change this here so the next thing i want to show you is this So let's say you want to create with a bot builder. What you do is, once you get here, click on reset and then save everything. So you'll have, this is a default bot. Usually has the market. So derived here, as you can see, you can change to Forex, stock indices, commodities, whatever, continuous indices. And then you can choose the markets here. So you have the trade type. This way you choose either up, down, touch down, wherever, rise and fall, all that. So you can just get into those detailed contract types. Could either if you select rise and fall, is rise and fall or is both, whichever you choose. This one is uh, the candlestick uh, uh, interval. That's one minute. Then there is a trade duration ticks. You can choose ticks, seconds, minutes, hours, etc. So I just want to show you how you can create, first of all, a stake list and martingale. I want to create a series where we create every bot that you have been sold out there. I'm going to help you create your own for free. So you just need to spend some time here and learn and watch to the end. That's all you need to do. So the first thing you need, if you wanna create a changing stack and martingale, what you do is come to utility, come to variables, just create a variable there, simple stack. So with the variable stack, now I want this USD here, I want 
use stack there. And then the next thing I need is I need to set this stack there. Just like that. And then come to math, get a digit. Put it there. Simple. So let's say we want to start with one. And then if, for example, right now we put a stack of one and we run this, it should run with stack of one. And there will be no martingale on this because I'm not set any martingale. So as you can see, it's trading with one, one, one. But this is my demo, so don't worry. Just like that. The next thing, I don't need this. Delete that. The next thing we need now is to set the martingale. The martingale is also what? The martingale factor is also a variable. So just call it martingale. Just like that. Carry this here. And then come to variables, set stick. Just below here, stick. Just put the martingale factor there. Martingale. And come to math again. Is this simple? This simple. We can have a martingale of 2.1. So what do we want to do is anytime the result is not a win. I can just delete this. Anytime the result is not a win, what do you do? We multiply. Okay. Let's come here. Uh, let's come to purchase conditions. No. It's what I'm looking for. Not take profit. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Now, this is already there. I don't want to add that full block, this contract. This is what I was looking for. So first of all, I'll need this. This all is win. And I'll also need utilities. I'll need logic. So here. So if, and then the, if the result is a win, then do what? Set the stake. Come here to variables. Uh, Why is variable? Here, set the stake. Just like that. Set so the stake to one. Math, I've already shown you this before. Math one. But if it's not a win, just put an else statement. Just simple as that. Just click that plus there. Simple as that. And then set the stake again. Oh, sorry. No, if I carried that block. No, I didn't carry it. So variables set stake there set the stake to i need to take the stake and then multiply it by the martingale factor so the stake to and then come here to math then just carry arithmetic here so here i need to take the stake replace that and then the multiply by what is my martingale there brothers and you have your full bot with martingale i don't know where how this came from so you can just delete it and test the bot no let me place this here then just expand a bit like that so let's run for example so that's a win i'm just hoping for it to lose so that we see if the martingale works correctly Oh man, <laughs> just one moment. So yeah, that loses, so should multiply by 2.1, as you can see, wins, then goes back to one, exactly. And that's it, guys. Creating bots is that easy. And I'm going to have a series where I show you how to create each and every bot. The next thing I think we're going to do is the stake list. So we remove the martingale and have a stake list where if it loses with one, it trades with two, five, what not and then i'm also going to show you how to uh, check the trades based on rsi i'm also going to show you how to check the trades uh, based on ticks so going to show you how to check the trade based on the last digit everything and if there's anything i'm missing or forgetting just comment and i'm going to create that video for you so don't lose your money buying these things you when you can create unless you're so lazy and so stupid to not understand drag and drop things brother there's no other way i can save you anyway it has been a great video wait for the next one where i show you
how to use this tech list have a good one and bye bye gentlemen